<laughs> what I mean is, we can't let her get away with this. We gotta make Hildy undo this evil, icky, scary spell. You really don't like mimes. You don't understand. I was once stuck in an imaginary box for a week. Okay. I had to hand it to the fellas. They had gumption. They stormed right over to the Gloom's place and were all set to demand she return Happy to normal. In Happy's case, I'm not sure normal applies. Excuse me, I said extra cheese. But still, it was a bold move on their part. As for me, common sense prevailed and I hid out behind a tree. Hello? I'll do what you did to Happy. Give him his voice back. No, and what's more, horrible creatures, get out of my face. I send all your voices to an icy cave place. And for wrecking my day not once but two times, I curse you to silence. Now you're all mine. <laughs> what could be worse than this? Let's find out, shall we? Mimes! This is no time for 7D nonsense. I can explain, Your Majesty. Just a sec, Grumpy. Happy is doing some charades. Let me see if I can guess what you're trying to tell me. Allow me, Your Majesty. I was ninth runner-up in the Jollywood charade competition. I could save us all a lot of agony and just tell you what happened. No need. I know the answer. You met... A pair of dancing pants. Ooh, so close. Not. Well, my guess is Happy took over for a nervous singing telegram fella, and when Happy sang the anniversary telegram to the glooms, they zapped his voice to an ice cave on Mount Jollywood and turned him into...